Welcome to CDC's VAERS Wonder Training. This video will show you how to search the Vaccine Adverse Event Reporting System, or VAERS, using a search tool called Wonder, which stands for Wide Ranging Online Data for Epidemiologic Research. In Section 1, we'll introduce VAERS. In Section 2, we'll explain how to search VAERS public data. In Section 3, we'll go through some of the strengths and limitations of VAERS data. And in Section 4, we'll provide contact information for further assistance or more information. Section 1, Introduction to VAERS. VAERS is co-managed by CDC and the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA. It's a system for collecting reports of adverse events or possible reactions following receipt of vaccinations. Here are some important things to know about VAERS. Anyone can submit a report to VAERS. VAERS has received about 30,000 reports annually in recent years. Health information provided in reports is coded and entered into a database. A VAERS report does not necessarily mean that the vaccine caused the health problem, only that the symptoms occurred after vaccination. For more information about VAERS, please visit vaers.hhs.gov. If you, your patient, or your family member had an adverse event after a vaccination, you can go to VAERS to see if that event has ever been reported, how often it's been reported, or if the circumstances surrounding the event are similar. For example, suppose your 12-year-old daughter received her tetanus, diphtheria, and acellular pertussis, or Tdap, vaccine. A few seconds later, she fainted and hit her head. Using VAERS Wonder, you can find out how often this has been reported by others. Now that you know the basics of VAERS, the next section will show you how you would search VAERS data using our example. Section 2. How to search VAERS public data. VAERS data are available two ways. The first is to download raw data files and import them into a database, spreadsheet, or text editing program. You can find the data files at VAERS.HHS.gov. The second way is to search using the Wonder tool, which can be found at wonder.cdc.gov slash VAERS.html. This is what we will be demonstrating in this video. It's important to note that VAERS data without personal identifiers are available four to six weeks after the report is received. VAERS data change as new reports are received, so your results may change if you repeat the same search at a later date. Let's explore how to search VAERS data using Wonder. The first step is to go to wonder.cdc.gov slash VAERS.html. Here is the VAERS homepage. Remember, a report to VAERS does not necessarily mean that a vaccine caused the reported adverse event. Click on the VAERS data search box to start your search. You will be taken to the page where you can start your search. In Step 1, you choose which variables you want to see in your results. Clicking the down arrow to the right of the Group Results by drop-down list will show all the options. For this example, we selected VAERS ID, age, and vaccine as the variables to search for. To see the description of the adverse event as it was reported on the VAERS form, select VAERS ID in the first box under Group Results by and select Adverse Event Description under Optional Measures. If you want to give your search printout a title, enter it in the title box. In this example, we entered the word fainting. If you don't want a title, you can leave the box blank. 
Scroll down to Step 2, where you can select symptoms to search for. We need to find the symptoms that indicate fainting. To search for terms related to fainting, click on the Search tab under Step 2. Type in fainting, then click the Search button at the bottom of the section. The search terms for fainting are presyncope and syncope, which are clinical words that mean fainting. They appear in the Symptoms box. Select the terms you want to use for your search. As you highlight a term, it is moved to the currently selected box on the right side of the screen. To select more than one term, hold down the Control key. To select a range of terms, hold down the Shift key. We selected presyncope and syncope. Scroll down to Step 3, Select Vaccine Characteristics. In this example, we are searching for Tdap vaccines. When highlighted, it moves to the currently selected box on the right side of the screen. If we wanted to search for a specific brand of Tdap vaccine, we would click the Open button at the bottom of the section and select the specific brand or brands of Tdap vaccine we were interested in. Scroll down to the bottom half of Step 3, which allows you to search for vaccine manufacturer, vaccine dose number, and vaccine lot number. If you don't select any, it will default to all manufacturers, all doses, and all lot numbers. Scroll down to Step 4, which allows you to select specific locations, ages, and genders. If you don't select anything, it will default to all U.S. states and territories, all ages, and all genders. Scroll down to Step 5, which allows you to select characteristics of the adverse event you're interested in. If you don't select anything, it will default to all adverse events. We selected zero days under onset interval since we want to view reports of persons who fainted on the same day the vaccine was given. Scroll down to step six. In this section, you can search for exact words that appear in each section of the VAERS report. We typed in head and skull under adverse event description since we want to find reports for persons who had head or skull injuries. Scroll down to step 7, which allows you to search for a specific date that a VAERS report was completed. We're searching for reports completed in 2013. If you leave this blank, it will default to all dates in VAERS from 1990 to the present. Scroll down to Step 8, which allows you to search for specific dates that reports were received by VAERS. We're searching for reports received in 2013. If you leave this blank, it will default to all dates in VAERS. Scroll down to Step 9, which allows you to search for specific dates when persons were vaccinated. We're searching for reports of persons vaccinated in 2013. If you leave this blank, it will default to all dates in VAERS. Scroll down to Step 10, which allows you to search for specific dates when an adverse event occurred. We're searching for adverse events that occurred in 2013. If you leave this blank, it will default to all dates in VAERS. Scroll down to Step 11, which allows you to search for a specific date when a death occurred. We'll leave this on the default setting since we're not searching for death reports. Step 12 allows you to choose how your results will appear. We'll leave this on the default settings. The final step is to press any of the send buttons on the page. Your search results appear on the screen. Use the scroll bar on the right side of the screen to view the full page of results. Now that you've seen how to run a custom search in VAERS Wonder, we'll demonstrate how to search for a specific VAERS report. 
You can view the details of a specific VAERS report by clicking on the VAERS ID number. You can also access this search option by going to the VAERS Wonder homepage and clicking on VAERS Report Details. Type in the VAERS ID number and click on the Event Details button. Here is an example of a results screen. Scroll down to view the entire page of results. Congratulations! You've successfully completed a VAERS Wonder search. The best way to master using VAERS Wonder is to practice using it. Section 3. Strengths and Limitations of VAERS Data VAERS data have several strengths. VAERS collects national data from all U.S. states and territories and accepts reports from anyone. It also collects information about the vaccine, the person vaccinated, and the adverse event. The data are available to the public. Another strength is that VAERS data can be used for rapid safety signal detection for rare adverse events. A signal is when reported information raises concern that an adverse event may have been caused by a vaccine. Signals are potential safety issues that usually require more controlled studies to evaluate whether or not they represent an actual risk. There are some limitations of the VAERS data. VAERS data are subject to reporting bias, and the data are inconsistent in terms of quality and completeness. There is no unvaccinated comparison group, and we can't use VAERS to calculate how often adverse events occur. Additionally, VAERS generally cannot assess if a vaccine was the cause of the reported adverse event. In spite of the limitations, the value of VAERS lies in its ability to do rapid safety signal detection for rare adverse events. Section 4. Where to get more information. For more information on immunization or vaccine safety, call 1-800-CDC-INFO or send an email to cdcinfo at cdc.gov or to nipinfo at cdc.gov. For VAERS Wonder Questions, call 1-888-496-8347 or send an email through the website at wonder.cdc.gov slash contactus.htm.